You might catch yourself sliding in and out of the catch yourself sliding in and out of the hallucinatory state. Do, just relax and enjoy it. Do, just relax and enjoy it. This is an experiment, this is an experiment in, mind in mind formation. In formation. In formation. Forming, forming, controlling, controlling, operating your, operating mind, and your mind and your brain. We're using digital, We're using techniques, digital techniques to overload, to overload and scramble, and scramble, confuse, confuse, unfocus, unfocus mind, your mind. state of the brain is chaos. We're dealing with a complexity of information. The first thing to do is to uh, overwhelm your focused mind, your linear mind, by overloading signals, digital patterns, clusters of photons and electrons, which produce pleasant state of confused chaos. This is the state of the brain when it is ready to be informed, that is to be reprogrammed. The human brain contains 100 billion neurons. Each neuron is as powerful as a, a large computer each neuron has around 10,000 connections with other neurons. Within our foreheads, there is a chaos. Inside our brains, there is a, a galaxy of information, which is incomprehensible to our linear minds. This contrasts and compares perfectly with the chaos without. We're living in a universe which has 100 billion galaxies, each galaxy with star systems, planets, a complexity, again, which to our minds right now is, is chaotic, incomprehensible. Chaos is beautiful. Now, many times we are afraid because we want order. We can't deal with the confusion and the disorder. disorder. We want form. We want rules. Yes, throughout human history, there have been people, religious leaders, political leaders, who will give you order. They'll give you rules and commandments. But chaos is basically good. Relax, surf the waves of chaos, and learn how to redesign your own realities. Sit back, flow, open your eyes, turn off your mind, unfocus, and let the waves of chaos roll over your brain. Float, drift, zoom, Design, create, new order, your order, your style, from chaos. Yes, yeah, chaos, chaos. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
life is to know thyself. Think for yourself. Question authority. Think with your friends. Create, create new realities. Philosophy is a team sport. Philosophy is the ultimate, the ultimate aphrodisiac pleasure. Learning how to operate your brain. How to operate your mind, learning how to redesign chaos. The religious leaders and the political leaders want to give you orders to run your life, to determine how you think. The basic goal is to operate your own mind. Think for yourself. Around 3,000 years ago, a group of human beings in Athens, Greece, developed a new philosophy, the basic religion of humanity, is called humanism. Socrates said, the aim of human life is to know thyself. Create and design your own order in the chaos. Socrates did not give commandments. Socrates did not impose order. Socrates asked questions. He encouraged his friends to speculate, to design, to create, to interact with your own versions of reality. Socrates said, the way to perform philosophy is in small groups, raising questions, learning from each other, changing, changing your mind, growing together, thinking together. The religious leaders said, you can't say that, Socrates. The gods are in control. Who are you to say you have to say? How dare you think you can know? Gods determine. Sacrifice to the gods. Obey the gods. He said, no, look within. For that, he gave Socrates the hemlock because he dared to tell people, think for yourself and question authority. Yourself, you must learn how to reprogram, reform, inform your own brain. To do this, to take responsibility for your brain, it is necessary to question everything that you have been taught, to question authority, to learn, to take the brave step of taking responsibility for operating your brain, for designing 
redesigning, reforming the chaos within. Throughout human history, as our species has faced the frightening, terrorizing fact that we do not know who we are or where we're going in this ocean of chaos, it has been the authorities, the political, the religious, the educational authorities who attempted to comfort us by giving us order, rule, regulations, informing, forming in our minds their view of reality. To think for yourself, you must question authority and learn how to put yourself in a state of vulnerable, open-mindedness, chaotic, confused vulnerability to inform yourself.